Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Can you believe that it's already November or should I say November? Because you see in this video I have something special prepared and that's because this year I've committed myself for a film challenge, in this case a film noir challenge in which I will be talking one noir movie a day. Yes, you heard right, a day. I don't know what I'm doing but I'm hoping that this year we'll have fun with one of my favorite genres. So are you willing to join me for this challenge? In any case, I think that I will be talking about movies that are quite amazing on their own regardless of the genre some of them are well-known masterpieces others are relatively unknown or lesser known but they have something to bring to the table that i think that you guys who love classic movies as much as i do would love to know about and would love to discover so all i'm fishing to say is that i hope all of you join me in this challenge and we get to talk about some magnificent movies we'll be delving a little bit deeper into what film noir is and how it's influenced even modern movies or contemporary cinema it is a topic that i haven't yet discussed much on the channel and it was long overdue because it is a genre that i have quite a history with and that's something also that i will share in future videos so stay tuned and if you like to join in subscribe if you haven't already and for today the first movie that we will be talking about is a recent discovery of mine called phantom lady so with no more ado let's jump into it if you watched my last video i talked about Alfred Hitchcock's Rebecca and some of the women that were behind the camera that were behind Alfred Hitchcock and that hugely contributed to that movie and particularly one of those women was Joan Harrison who is also a recent discovery of mine and as I explained in my last video she was a screenwriter and producer who started working with Alfred Hitchcock but then she started to fly solo and she was one of the most influential producers in Hollywood, especially for film noir. And lastly, as I said in my previous video, she was one of the few women that really got to take that job. And Phantom Lady, which is a movie that I have recently watched, was her first film as a producer, in this case, as an associate producer for Universal. And I highly, highly recommend this movie by all means if you love the genre. And if you don't or you haven't watched that many film noir films, this one is quite special because it involves a female producer with quite a vision and also in the movie a female character that escapes the archetypes of the genre. This was a movie of firsts in many senses because as I was saying, it was Joan's first production role, but also it was the first film noir that Robert Siodmak, the German filmmaker, directed. And also this was Ella Rain's first film noir as well, and the first of the four movies that Robert Siodmak directed her in. Furthermore, the movie was released in 1944, which is a remarkable year for the genre because it was the year that Double Indemnity and Laura were also released. So it's a year known to be one that solidified the genre. Prior to that year, we have the Maltese Falcon released in 1941 and also this gun for hire with Alan Ladd and Veronica Leigh released in 1942, but specifically 1944. It's supposed to be a year in which the genre kind of erupted. Also, this was one of those movies, those thrillers, detective stories that performed really well at the box office. So the movie was quite a hit and it launched the career of Elle Rains, who made quite an impact. In fact, she appeared in the cover of Life magazine that year, which was a highly popular magazine at the time. Also launched the career of Robert Siodmak, one of the best film noir directors known for his moody atmospheres, his kind of pessimistic view 
on society and who brought the German expressionism with all that beautiful beautiful game of lights and shadows into the genre and it obviously also helped increase the reputation of John Harrison. The movie is based on a novel. In this case it was written by Cornel Woolrich who also wrote Rear Window. The story revolves around a woman who is not the femme fatale, who is not the gangster's girlfriend, and the title Phantom Lady alludes to the only alibi that this man has who has been accused of the murder of his wife and the only alibi that this man has is a woman with whom he has been at the time of the murder who wears a very particular hat and who suddenly disappears and everyone claims they haven't seen her. So the whole plot revolves around in this case Ella Rains going above and beyond to help her boss prove his innocence. Also in the movie we have Francia Tone and Elisha Cook Jr. in a secondary role but quite a powerful one. There is quite a suggestive scene with him playing the drums. It is quite an intense sequence. It is again a thrill to watch. It has suspense. It has mystery. It has a fantastic female character played again by Ella Rains. It has a fantastic photography. If you love black and white films, Phantom Lady will make you fall even harder for them. It is that beautiful. Also with lovely, lovely gowns by Vera West. She was the head designer at Universal and she specialized in female gowns, specifically in science fiction movies, period pieces and horror movies. So again, another reason to watch and love this movie. So before it turns really noir here, I'll just let you know that with this movie, you'll fall in love with Joan Harrison's work, you'll fall in love with Ella Raines, you'll fall in love with Robert C. Edmack's work. So I, I think I've said quite a few reasons why you should definitely check out Phantom Lady. I think that this movie should be in the top lists of film noir. It is a wonder to myself how it escaped my radar for so long and I'm so glad that thanks to Rebecca I got to learn more about Joan Harrison and I got to discover this movie. So that was all for today's video for the first recommendation. Phantom Lady, keep that in mind, released in 1944. Thank you so much for watching, thank you so much for sharing the love for classic movies, thank you so much for sharing the love for film noir. Stay safe, take care, I hope you have a wonderful day and see you all tomorrow for a new video. Bye!